Much like every other spending department in the UK, the environmental sector is suffering. The importance of looking after the environment has been drilled into our heads ever since we were old enough to speak. And now that we're older and times have changed, that importance is stronger than ever. Government spending budgets are under lock and key, and local councils just don't have access to the funding that they used to. Local wildlife organisations are among one of the many departments to have their life supply cut from the government. After two significant blows, we can never quite tell where today's financial climate will take us next. But for now, the safety shutters are firmly bolted, and the likes of the RSPB, Ferrydale Park and Tees Valley Wildlife Trust are nestled inside. The plan? Teamwork. What would you say is the positives of the funding you have available to you? The positives is that if the money's out there, the negatives is too many of us chasing it, and we would just love to be able to get more, more money to do more parks, because like the ones you can see here, they're in need of refurbishment. We're in with a lot of competition for money, so I'm not sure we'll get that. Amy Carrick volunteers for the Tees Valley Wildlife Trust. This project's here today for the forest school sites, and this wouldn't exist, um, so we wouldn't be able to go out and educate the kids, show them you know, how the forest works, um, and also we we'll have volunteers out to get these sites up to scratch. And there's other projects as well, which just wouldn't exist at all if we didn't have any funding. But you're sort of helping other people progress as well as helping yourselves. Oh, definitely, I would say so, yeah. It's, so sort of yeah. blessing in disguise. Yeah, so we actually are branching out more because there is a temptation as a, a, an organisation, especially an environmental one, to stick with that same type of people. We help these people and that's it. Are you concerned about the amount of funding that you receive from the government? I know a lot of our team who are applying for funding for new projects, um, they are quite stressed out with all the process. It's, quite, it's a really long process. Um, yeah, they'll be, they'll be quite worried about what the future holds for environmental organisations. The Royal Society of the Protection of Birds at RSPB Salt Home. The RSPB promises to preserve anything that hops, crawls or flutters in your garden. However now, local RSPB branches are flying lower than their fellow organisations during our current fiscal fate. An official RSPB survey found that 96% of UK farmers think their work will be affected if agri-environmental funding is cut. The composition of Europe's budgets is at the root of local funding problems right now. The caps or common agricultural policies are fighting to keep revenue prices high while funds coming from agricultural schemes are continuing to fall. The gap is merging wider and wider. This has forced wildlife organisations to rely on the strength between their own two feet if they wish to survive the UK's current and forthcoming economic thunderstorms. What does looking after the environment mean to you in three words? Everyone can answer this.